go to a little town in New Jersey where things are really popping. Eric's going in to the box. Eric's mystery box. I'm going into the box. I got something. I purchased this uh, during, actually, I purchased this during our road trip to um, Unshredded Nostalgia. We went to Unshredded Nostalgia with Bootsy. With Bootsy Spankins, and while there, I picked up Oh yeah, I remember I, this. I picked up a <laughs> oh, Teen World fuck. from October, what the hell year was it? It's gotta be the early 60s, right? Um, October 1960. Wow. So I got Teen World, October 1960. I had to get it, I absolutely had to get it because the cover was amazing. As you can see, the cover deals with how to behave in a boy's arms. Which is essential. Important. Controlling your frustrating emotions. <laughs> like, <laughs> also essential. Holy crap. Yeah. I'm shy, but I want him. And other teen problem stories. <laughs> Girls, boys will forget this fall. Wow. That is fucked up. <laughs> that is fucked up. Um, understand a boy's ego, in quotes. Stand out in your crowd. And... On page 34, can you tell when he really cares? By the way, how to behave in a boy's arms? What does that mean? Well, let's find out. Check this out. It's Teen World Magazine, a, a magazine clearly for teen girls, and the very first content, the very first article, is a boy's point of view. Yeah, you know, because... <laughs> <if, laughs> That's amazing. If, if, you can, if you can get in the head of a boy, if you can, because if these are boys talking, then, you I, know, then you're learning. And this is so. This is like a like a help call, like a, a an advice column. Right. I just want to read. The, let's read the first one. Dear Bill, you're just the one I'm looking for to answer my problem. I was going steady with a boy of 18. I'm 16. I really liked him, and I really like, and he really liked me. It wasn't puppy love. Of course it wasn't. Jeez, it's a serious relationship. Yes, I mean, come on. He was afraid he wasn't good enough for me. I told him many times he was. He also liked me so much he thought he was going to hurt me. So we broke off and this really hurt me. I think I hurt him too. Please tell me how I can prove to this boy that I'm not too good. I really have nothing over him. Help, Ontario! That is the humble braggest <laughs> fucking letter I've ever heard. You wanna, you wanna hear the answer? Sure, let's okay. find out, let's, find let's, out. let's uh, see what the advice is. Dear Help, you know, maybe there's been too much talk about love and future plans. Some fellows in my crowd tend to get scared if they're going to get too serious. Personally, I'd rather have fun on dates than play 20 question on who's too good for whom. How about getting your romance back on a nice, light, easy going track? I don't, I don't think I like that advice at all. He's basically saying, like, oh. hey, let's not get too oh. serious. Oh, oh that's right, because that's, that's the boy giving the yeah, advice. Let's yeah, let's just come on. All right, yeah, I see, yeah, I see. We got Cool It by Penny Nickel. That's like a Archie art. It is, yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Here we go, control your frustrating emotions. What's happening to me, you wonder? One minute you're mad, now you're glad. Then turn about, you're sad. But wait, there's some wonderful ways to calm those explosive feelings and then become a happier, better girl. Wow. <laughs> Alrighty then. I love this one. Um, Must you keep playing those records, your mother asks? Must she keep nagging me that way? Why, you can just plain scream. <laughs> yes, you can understand a boy's ego. Look at this. Now she's beginning to know so much more about him. This knowledge can really change her whole future. Now look at the, look at the admiring look. Now I understand this boy's ego. So let's see. I'm shy, but I want him. Paul was wonderful, but he was my brother's friend. And you know what I was? I was the baby kid sister. What could I do but love Paul from a distance? Too scared to do anything but blush and stammer and run away from the only boy I liked. Oh gosh, that is tragic and heartbreaking. <laughs> How old is that guy? Yeah, certainly right? He looks about like Jesus. 37. How to behave in a boy's arms. Oh. The moment has come, that tender time that can be wonderful or miserable. Which will it be for you? Read this honest, honest article on a subject important to every girl. Important to you! True teen problem story, nobody to love me. Hmm. Margo the cargo, they called me. Margo, <laughs> Margo the cargo? What the hell? Girls, boys will forget this summer. So I, I, without even reading it, I'm gonna guess that this is this is gonna be an article that subtly, though without ever coming out and saying it, subtly says, if you sleep with a boy over the summer, you'll never see them yeah, again and, so? and they, they won't like you. Don't sleep with boys Don't sleep the with summer. the local. 
Now the boys tell the real truth. Why certain girls' numbers, uh, telephone numbers, will soon be up. Look at that boy. He's tearing somebody's name out of the address book. Who's? And look at the, look at the grim satisfaction. He's like, yeah. Yep. Don't need that anymore. Can uh, how can you tell when he really cares? Oh, the the quiz. That's oh. a, a popular format. Always take what's the quiz. The, what's quiz? What's All right, one? let's see. When you're disagreeing on something, whether it's a choice of what movie to see or who should be the new class president, is he willing to listen to your opinion and, and side of the argument? Always, mm. sometimes, or never. Sometimes. When you're at a dance or a party together, is he very jealous when you occasionally dance with other boys? Sometimes. I don't mind <laughs> other guys dancing with my girl. Does he call you on the phone just to talk? Does he bring you little presents like a like a bunch of violets or a stamp for your collection? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, a stamp collection. He has a stamp. Oh, here you go. Does his passion for you make him urge you to go all the way? All the way in quotes. All the way. Yeah, right. A plus clothes with class. Look at that. Look at that. That's a nice bag. It's funny when you see these are teens. Yeah, but that that yeah, right, they're teens. Right? No, this 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 woman could be like the office manager. But that's supposed to be like a seventeen-year-old girl on the go. I went about the and look at look at these people. This, it's this, just the way they're dressed, right? Because our our brain picture that's like what our grandparents looked like. So they never changed their style from when they were teenagers or kids right. or whatever. So we in our heads interpret that as being old, but in fact that's what they looked like as teens. I guess. Unless they're not actually no, teen models. No, because they kept their hair stock. When I interpret an old person, I think that the person, the old person with the hairstyle is because they're old. But in fact, that was their cool hairstyle. Oh, oh I see what you mean. <laughs> so like, they're still wearing the hair yes, that they thought like was Yes, just like we cool. are. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not. No, but it, I, you don't have like long hair, anymore, but the whole perspective of they just kept their hairstyle into the, the you know yeah. throughout the years and now you're like oh that's grandpa or whatever but like really, like like even like these guys yeah they, right? they look like a bunch of old guys but in fact they're 17 year old kids they yeah just dressed this what was cool to them yeah and never sense. dropped it that makes sense which is ironic because old people will complain that old people there's people that'll be like oh you never grew up and you wear the same clothes you wore well fuck you you still wear the same clothes you wore when you were 17. well yeah i still i, yeah. I still do i could i mean i'm i i i've been dressing the same way for a very but so long did time they. yeah no you're right Pull so there you go we've looked at the october uh, 1960 issue of teen world and we've learned that oh my god we learned that well, we've, we've learned that we're thankful that we grew up as young boys, not as young girls, because... Yeah, but tough. How miserable to have, like, to have this sort of shit drilled into your head all the time? Constantly. Leave some comments about crap like this. Actually, what I'm curious about, especially for, for our female viewers, is if you read, like, teen magazines when you were a kid, and what were... Because, you know, you remember, like, Tiger Beat and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that was but, all, like, pictures of, like, teen right, boys. Right, but, like, but they still have those teen boys. magazines that just feed you yeah. tons of... Yeah, I want to. I want to know about like what, you know, what other people read when they were like growing up and all that stuff. So there you go, because we need pictures. <laughs> that's it. That's the thing. That's the thing that we do. Is the thing. So also, it's all done. All right, stop the video now. We're wrapped up. Okay, we're done. It's good. Checks are a fashion first this summer for almost any activity. The blouse and skirt separates are in fashionable gingham check. Mother and her friends might be discussing plans for the day, but I'm sure they're talking about a favorite subject, fashions, and the newest creations they are wearing from right here in California. This pinafore dress is one of the youngest looks I have found in the California market. Our designers have developed a sophisticated flavor to this black and white check pinafore. You can wear these summer dresses anytime, almost around the clock. Here's our young teenager who's ready for fun in a two-piece Jamaica set. The ruffled sleeveless overblouse is perfect topping for her well-cut Jamaica shorts. The abstract designs in bright California colors are the newest print fashion for summer play wear. And look at the pattern of racing colors in this shaggy dog cotton twill clam digger. A real eye-catcher. <laughs>